Hey guys, Randy here. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, travel trailer facts, some good information when you're looking to purchase a travel trailer. So travel trailers come in a variety of sizes. They're going to run all the way down to some small lightweights like this guy here that may be between 15 to 18 feet. And then uh, we can also see them run up into huge, huge floor plans like this guy here that's going to run up into about 35 and a half feet um, with this big bunkhouse unit. Um, they're also available in a very wide uh, variety of floor plans. And when I say floor plan, I mean the way it's laid out inside, whether it's got bunks, whether it doesn't have bunks, uh, the way the walls are situated to uh, make it uh, look different inside the location of the kitchen and the bedrooms and things like that. Um, they, have, they have a ton of home-like amenities too. You're not missing anything when you get into a travel trailer. Um, so we've got air conditioners, hot water heaters, furnaces, large sinks typically. Um, we may have one and even two bathrooms like this guy over here. So kind of just like home, except for you're, you're doing it in the campground environment. They can sleep up towards 10 people, maybe even more if you've uh, got smaller people with you. So um, some units will have sleeping for two to four. Um, we get into, again, a large bunkhouse unit like this. We may even have sleeping up to 10 people. Typically, they're going to be priced a little bit lower than some of our other RVs we see out there. So the, when you get into the motorized and the fifth wheels, those cost a little bit more to produce. So if you're looking for something economical or you're just starting out, maybe a travel trailer is a good way to go. Um, you can save a little bit of money and still get out there and have some great camping experiences. So travel trailers are a good fit for first time families getting out there doing it. Again, they're a little bit more uh, inexpensive than some of the other uh, RVs that we see out there. So if you're, you're not 100% sure if you like it or not, getting into uh, something that's a little less expensive is a good way to start. Um, they're also great for families. Um, there is more floor plans available um, in a travel trailer than there are any other kind of camper out there. So if it's a young family where you need extra sleeping for the kids or you want a separate room for them, i.e. a bunkhouse unit, you're gonna find a lot more floor plans available in a travel trailer to accommodate that. They're also great for seasoned RVers. You know, I've got a lot of customers that uh, stay up here for the summer months. I live in the Northeast, um, and they will uh, live down in Florida in the nice weather for uh, the cold months of the year, but they come up here for the summer season, enjoy living in a travel trailer, and they can be with their friends and family. What do you need to tow a travel trailer? So on the back of your car, you're gonna need a receiver, and that's where it will slide the hitch in that'll accommodate the coupler on the front of a travel trailer. We're also gonna need some wiring done if you don't already have it. Now, on a travel trailer, we're gonna typically have a plug like this, and this will accommodate our lights and our braking. So if you don't have a plug on the back of your car, we may need to add one, but that's what we'll need to tow a travel trailer. If you're not sure what your car will tow, or if you have the right equipment on it, feel free to give us a call. We'd be glad to give you a tow rating of your vehicle and tell you what you need for equipment for towing. So what are the power requirements of a travel trailer? Your typical travel trailer is going to have what we call a 30 amp plug in the industry. And it's a plug that looks like this, probably a little different than any plug that you've seen in the house. Um, but this guy here will handle 30 amps so we can run our larger ampacity devices inside the coach as well as give us everything else uh, power wise. Now, if you don't have a plug like this at home, it's not the end of the world. We can use an adapter like this that will actually plug right in here and adapt it down to what we call a 20 amp receptacle we can plug in at home. This is great to use at home. You just can't run the air conditioner or the microwave when you're on a 20 amp circuit. So travel trailers come in many, many different profiles, pretty much accommodating any family, camping, or towing situation that you may have. There's probably a travel trailer out there for you. Most travel trailers can also be towed by half ton pickups and SUVs. So that means you can still get out there and go camping with a great unit without owning a huge vehicle or sharing the expense of a huge vehicle just to go camping. So when your family's ready to go camping, definitely don't overlook a travel trailer. They have the widest variety of sizes, the widest variety of floor plans, and the best towability out there. So I look forward to seeing you on the road and happy camping.